we got a big surprise last night, we Professor. Did. We did. Surprise, surprise. We thought we were going to have at least a few more days in the 2022 bluefin season. Turns out today is the last day. Closing it up at 11.30 tonight. 11.30 tonight. So we got to be in with our fish tonight. You know, you see it on TV and you're like, is it really, does the quota work like that? No, actually the quota really works like that. I, I, I mean, nobody knew this was coming, but they've been catching so much. And so therefore, we got to make magic. One, we got a chance for one more time. One more day. Luckily, we got the monkey taken off of our backs yesterday, but today we're going to go for another one in a perfect world. We get a couple of uh, big eyes, and then we get a 600 pound bluefin. That's a perfect world, but we'll take anything. We'd love to have a bluefin today, any size above 73, 73 inches, right? 73, Professor? Yes, 73 inches, we'll take it, we'll be happy with it, we'll head west with it, and we'll call it a good season. Even though it was a short one, a good one for us, we learned a lot, and so let's see what happens. What time we got on the clock? 6.49. 6.49, baby. Hooked up. Alright. Last day. Let's do this. Get ready. I want to get this bait in the water. Alright. We got us a sunrise bite. Called it again, Professor. We got the professor's boy here. My biceps are already tight. Did not take long. We are feeling excited. This one is coming in a little faster, so we don't know what it is necessarily. How you feel, Trina? Stay on them. Why? Go get him a little bit. Get him. Be ready to chase him a little bit. We need you guys to mono yet, Edward. Is the mono on the reel? We're on mono. Yeah. He owed it. Tail wrap. It's tail wrap? Yeah. So we think the fish is tail wrap. And Doug, the reason why you think it's tail wrapped is what? See every bead of a tail when he's he, when he's wagging his tail, you can see that rod tip. So it can be good and can be real bad. That's good. You get him in quicker. You get him in quicker. Well, it's bad if he break it off. We might just be able to gaff him. I like it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What a way to finish the year if we get this. Hey, the season. Did not go long enough. We just got started. Got to get in the boat. Will you get back for? We're about 40 minutes into the fight. And what I'm doing is just watching that rod tipping that line, making sure it stays straight behind the boat. And when the line goes away from the boat, I'm backing up to the fish, trying to help Doug so he can get some, some fly back on the reel. It's a real cat and mouse game that we're playing here. Trying to keep the, the mono off the boat, but just far enough away so he can gain them. So, you really got to pay attention. These are tossing around a little bit. But uh, we're making them just fine right now. So, hopefully we'll get it. I think 
too close to moving. Yeah, let's stick with this if we can. Come on, baby. It's coming up. Like you do a run. Watch your feet, watch your feet. Douglas, this side, this side, this side. That's it. So that's it. So loosen it. Loosen it. Once again, the professor put us on the meat quick. And that was a different, it was like the whole process of catching that fish was different. Super long pinwheels the whole time. I mean, like at the end, it was just, it was just wild. I mean, professor, what do you think, buddy? Man, we got, we got good on that one. I mean, I'm not too known horn, but we put the paint we, on that fish. We put the paint on it. We're we, getting better at what we we're learned, doing. We learned mm -hmm, from mm -hmm, the last yeah. few days. So. We're learning. Yeah. And hopefully you are learning. And once again, we'll walk you through the process the rest of the way. But this is an amazing feeling. And uh, man, we're just so glad that you can join us as you're watching this video right now. Give us a like, send it to your friends. This is the salt life, this is living it. What, uh, man, just, we're ecstatic right now. Can you describe it? So we're gonna, we're gonna let the fish cool down. We were at the buyer yesterday and he reminded us at least an hour if we can. So we're gonna let it cool off so the meat don't burn. And uh, and just smile and be happy, happy. Happy days on the speechless. That is a bad man on that wheel uh, right there. <laughs> that is a bad, you got you a diamond. I, I believe. I. Oh, magician telling me how good. Come here, Doug. You, uh, you just telling me that Professor on the wheel is just He's on magic. It. Magic. What? He anticipates every move the fish is going to make. He's got my hand signals. We know what we're taught. We work good together. But he, he can anticipate where that fish gets in his pattern and maneuver the boat to get him closer. We get as much line as we can, as fast as we can, and, and break that fish's wheel. He's got it. And man, we, I mean, I think we got that in in how, how long? 45 minutes? Uh, 50, 50 minutes. 50 minute catch. 50 minute catch. The team is getting better and better. It just we're getting really good. They say the season is over. <laughs> Woo! Man, I wish we could have all, dog. Damn, what is fun. Round two, Ron. Round. 
All right, about that time. We've been dragging the fish for a little bit over an hour. Should be cooled down now. And so we're gonna bring it through the transom door and we're gonna take our guesses as to how fat, how big this one is. I got a feeling it's gonna be in the mid 90s. But we'll see in a second, all right? The point is up. No, the entry point. Oh. You wanna roll it over? I don't know, I think that's a pretty good size. All right. Hook through. Guide it so it's not rough the top there. Damn it. That's a problem. Everything out of water? Yes, sir. All right, time for the measurement. We're gonna take our guesses as we do. Trent. Uh, 92. 92, he says. 98. 98, this is Mr. Jug, the magician. Professor. 94. 94. Otis. 89. 89. Jim, Jim says 81. <laughs> Jim says 81. Jim says 81, and I'm gonna say what I said at the beginning, 96. Let's put a tape on it. Ninety one and a half inches. Ninety one and a half inches. And who said that one? I said ninety two. Yeah. We're gonna give it to Junior over here. Little professor got it today. Well done, Trent. Well done. Does like Christmas present faster today. We're learning. We're getting the process down. And now let's head to the buyer. Back in one cheese, as they say. Fishing frenzy. Right in front of us. So it looks like they're gonna weigh their hot tunas here. But they were coming back early this morning, so I'm not sure why hot what, what's they might have just weighed their fish. Anyway, a lot of boats, I imagine, going to be coming through here today. A lot of tuna fish. Could take a little bit of time. And that's one thing you, you never get an appreciation for is how, how much time do they spend after the catch so as to make the sale, so as to be able to you know, get back, clean up, so as to be able to get home and go to bed. And, you know, these, these, uh, these watermen, they are tough people. They, they really deserve a lot of credit for what they do. Oh, they got the uh, dad in the back of the hot tuna. Looks good. It's fun being here. You see a lot of uh, a lot of fish have been caught, and uh, you see a bunch of folks from the show as well, which is cool. Looks like Wicked Tuna had a big shindig coming in when they just got weighed. Excuse me, uh, uh, Hot Tuna had a big shindig. So, spoiler alert: they might have won the next season. <laughs> 
we'll, we'll see though. I have no idea, but it certainly looked like there was there's a lot of uh, on their final way, and quite a few people were there. So anyway, it's interesting to see the behind the scenes. We've got to guess the weight. You know the deal. Three, three sixteen. Three sixteen. Three six zero. Yeah. You know you're gonna be high. All right, Pat. What do you think? Because you said that. Now I'm scared. I'm gonna say um, three six five. Three sixty five. Five up, my didn't you? I'm gonna say three twenty five. I got a feeling I'm right. Because we're doing for people like you like yours up here. Yeah. Hard time. See it. Four three thirty eight. Wow. 339. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Who's closest? I believe it was I think I got it. <laughs> I was the closest without going over. Like, price is right. Bam! Just like that. We'll be right back. Our price is right. Don't go away. Yeah, the scale's off by like 30 pounds. <laughs> so, the 2022 Bluefin Tuna season has come to. <laughs> an end abruptly but, uh, abruptly right and it was it's like we were just really getting in our groove but we got a chance to, to fish a, these last three days we learned a lot so professor what would you say when you when you look back on this experience of learning the blue fan getting the boat down there quota being shut off quickly you know right when we get it down we essentially just fish a handful of times i guess four total times we fished yeah um your biggest takeaways um to be prepared next year when they start when they get here we need to be ready yep. be ready to roll we've been working on, on the cabin getting that finished you'll see a video on that here soon so we're going to finish that back up as we we're going to finish it up as we take it back up to uh reedville virginia and so professor's going to turn and burn right now anything else you just you, you learn these last couple of days about the boat or about yourself or about the crew? Well, I've learned a lot. I mean, uh, learned a lot about the boat, how it handles, how it handles in the sea. It's all being at the helm. You know yeah. what I mean? It's one of those things you have to go do it. You're not going to learn anywhere else. You can't read it in a book, can't look <laughs> at it online. You've got to go do it. The you internet know. ain't going to teach me this. That's professor. right. And another thing I learned about these particular fish, these giant blue fins, is you really have to be patient with them. It's mm -hmm. not something you can rush. Those fish, when they're not ready, you're not going to be able to take them. Yeah. You have to wait until you wear them down. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's pretty much my biggest take from this. And uh, just being aware of your surroundings, you know, because it's very dangerous. You yeah. know, anything can happen at any minute. So you really have to think things through before you act and, uh, you know, just be careful and cautious. And, uh, and another thing is be courteous to others. Yeah. You know, that's the main thing out on the water because there's a lot of people out there just don't care. A lot of drama out there today. A lot of drama on the radio today. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of you know. high stress, final day of season. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was, it was interesting. It was an amazing mini season that we had. Yeah. I can't wait for us to, to do this again in 2023 of course you're going to be a part of it we're going to get a lot more days on the water uh next year and we'll start earlier yeah. earlier in january to be able to get out yeah. there but uh this was awesome we got blessed two fish on the market and uh, we'll find out in another video how much they ended up making you'll hear all about it because we don't know you're gonna you're gonna follow that process again make sure you subscribe uh and until the next time my friends stay salty <laughs>